elections in Thailand have been marred by allegations of cheating and general confusion over results. Both sides say they will form a government, spoiling hopes of a clear-cut result that could have ended 15 years of political turmoil. Among the main contenders is Palang Prasharat, the pro-junta party belonging to Prime Minister Prayuth chan -Ucha. He headed up the military coup which seized power in the country five years ago. As yet, unofficial results show the party has gained a surprising 96 seats out of 350. The opposition and pro-democracy party, Purtai, linked to the self-exiled former Premier Taksin Sinawatch, has around 137 seats, less than it was expecting. Reuters' Panu Wongcham is on the story. We're seeing uh, sort of the jogging has already started where both sides, the two core parties, Mangwishara and Purtai, essentially getting sort of numbers very close to each other but far from, you know, having more than half of the total seats. So both are say saying that they, they want to be the core in forming a new government. Essentially we're seeing this bigger picture where a bunch of pro-military parties will side, you know, with Palang Bacharat, and then you see a bunch of pro-democracy parties, as well as uh, Taksin loyalist parties, sided with Pia Thai. Uh, but the problem is that the numbers don't really add up, uh, and we could end up with a situation like Hong Parliament. Poll irregularities have prompted accusations of rigged voting. As of Monday, nearly 600,000 people had signed a petition to impeach the election body, and Pia Thai said it was considering legal action. Critics also say the new election system, introduced by the junta, is fundamentally skewed in favour of the ruling military. Of course, General Bayu General Shah and the, the junta has the ultimate advantage, essentially through the appointed Senate, where the junta get to choose all of its 250 members in the Senate. And this Senate will be essential uh, in the voting for whoever will become the next Prime Minister. The Electoral Commission said it could be weeks until the makeup of Parliament becomes clear and the official result will be announced on May 9th.